Hi, I am Isa and today I'll give you a mini lesson on absolute value and its symbol. Probably something you've never heard before. What's the symbol? The absolute value symbol is two lines surrounding the number like this. The definition for absolute value is the number of units the number is away from zero. Look at the number line. Positive 5 is 5 units away from 0. Here's a tricky question. How many units is negative 5 away from 0? The answer is 5, because negative 5 is 5 units away from 0. It's helpful to remember that the absolute value for both positive and negative integers will always be positive. These are the problems you can try to solve with me. The key points are to remember what absolute value is, and not to leave behind parts of the problem. Question 1. The absolute value of negative 13. Remember, absolute value is the number of units the number is away from 0. Negative 13 is 13 units away from 0, so the answer is 13. Question 2. The absolute value of 23 plus 8. First, figure out the absolute value of 23. 23 is 23 units away from 0. From there, figure out the problem. 23 plus 8 is 31, so the answer is 31. Question 3. Minus the absolute value of negative 38. Now here's a real challenge. First, solve the absolute value. Remember that the absolute value is the number of units the number is away from 0. So the absolute value of negative 38 is 38. But don't forget the minus sign. If we bring the minus sign down, we have the answer of negative 38. The last question will be this. 148 minus minus negative 60. Because of the order of operations, we will do what's in the parentheses first. The absolute value of negative 60 is 60. Negative 60 is 60 units away from 0. Next, bring down the minus sign. We now have 148 minus negative 60. You've probably learned that if you have two negative signs, they become an adding sign because you owe a depth. Now the problem is 148 plus 60. The answer for that is 208. Finally, we have the real life connections to absolute value. Think you're in an elevator. If you went up three floors, that would be at the absolute value of three, because you went up three floors from the ground floor. The same goes if you go down three floors. That's enough for today. Thanks for listening, and I hope you learned something today.